Hello and good day. Welcome to another edition of Rewards Update. My name is Silas Atekfo. On the last edition of Rewards Update, I brought to you the uh, Kondengi uproar. As the Kondengi is a maximum security prison in uh, French Cameroon, where currently thousands of uh, Southern Cameroonian and Brazilians are being held hostage in that facility, have been there for some of them for over three years, some of them for decades. And there was an uproar on the 22nd of uh, July. of the Amazonian prisoners that were held in that facility. And again, we are demanding that Cameroon uh, uh, Minister of Justice uh, immediately produce all Amazonian prisoners of uh, war that were held in that facility. Today, I would like to bring you a follow-up on what has happened since uh, our last demands for Yaoundé to produce all uh, the hostages that were in their captivity to show the proof of life, every uh, person be accounted for. These uh, demands have been made by every Amazonian citizens and all Amazonian leaders calling on the Cameroon government to account for the over 195 uh, 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 hostages, which they call prisoners that are in their, have been in their keeping, some of them for over decades for uh, simply uh, uh, expressing their, their uh, uh, right to self-determination. So over 195 uh, hostages that are in Cameroonian uh, captivity were not accounted for and Amazonians and Amazonian leaders have been calling for accountability from the Cameroon uh, uh, government. Uh, this was also actually stressed, this course were actually stressed by uh, the president of the Federal Republic of Amazonia, uh, uh, President Sisiku Ayuk Julius Tabe, who is one of uh, the, the, the leaders who is also in captivity at the uh, Konenge uh, principal prison. Uh, he actually joined his heavy weight to the calls for Amazonian prisoners of war that uh, were not accounted for to be accounted for. Uh, and him and the other uh, leaders in that facility who are affectionately called the Nera 10 uh, uh, declared hunger strike until Cameroon government produces uh, the, the, their fellow citizens and their compatriots. So this hunger strike went on for days and uh, Ambazonians also widely joined this hunger strike in solidarity with uh, uh, these 
uh, leaders in detention who even in detention uh, their morals and spirits were so high that they would care and uh, fight for continue to fight for even those who are incarcerated just like them so uh, millions of Amazonians joined this uh, hunger strike in solidarity with uh, uh, Kwai, Julius Tabi and others in detention and uh, calls on Twitter and other uh, diplomatic reach outs that have been put together uh, uh, pressured the Cameroon government until uh, uh, some reactions were gotten from the uh, uh, Cameroon government. It is reported that the Cameroon justice minister himself uh, uh, was there with the lead, with the lawyers of the uh, uh, Nera Ten, that's uh, uh, Sisi Kwai, Julius Tabe and Co. The lawyers, uh, the Cameroon government brought some of these hostages to uh, the the lawyers of Sisi Kwai, uh, Julius Tabe and Co. to to as proof that they were not killed as speculated. Even though at this moment that we speak, all of them have not been accounted for. That over ninety have been accounted for, but uh, it is said that the the, the list of uh, hostages that are that were taken out of the Cameroon uh, uh, Central Prison in Kondingi, blindfolded out of there, were over a hundred and ninety five. So far, only uh, ninety have been accounted for, and their conditions. Are, are, are very very critical some of them have been reported with broken heads stitches all over their bodies and their heads this is a continuation of the abuse human rights abuses that Cameroon uh, government have been recording it is again no no, no exaggeration to say that uh, uh, the the utter silence of the international community to the events and actions of the Cameroon government is, is simply shameful. World leaders have not reacted uh, accordingly as expected to this exuberance of the Cameroon government. Neither has uh, world organizations reacted to in firm manner like expected. Uh, Amnesty International and other rights group have not shown serious concerns and uh, condemnation to the actions of the Cameroon government uh, uh, like uh, one would expect. So we continue again to call on the international community and uh, world leaders as well as international uh, rights bodies to uh, uh, call the Cameroon uh, situation for what it is. The Cameroon government uh, is, a, is a barbaric regime that has no place in this uh, civilized society and uh, the world must come together to to cut this cancer before uh, it spreads again we call on world leaders the international community and every right human rights group out there to lay emphasis on the Cameroon situation and call out the Cameroon government for their atrocities and abuse of human rights and hold them accountable uh, we still have over a hundred and five uh, uh, hostages from the Obro in uh, Kondingi that are still uh, unaccounted for. This the other uh, protests that uh, broke out in Boya have also not been accounted for, and we continue to call for accountability uh, in this uh, situation.